sharing contents on social media networks like Facebook and Instagram, animated transitions between screens, creating sequences of notes using sampler instruments and many more packages were released in calendar week 42. Welcome to SynTechOps, my name is Jay and this channel is all about programming. If you're interested in weekly summaries of the latest Flutter and Dart packages, subscribe to this channel and now let's get started with calendar week 42. Doing repetitive tasks over and over again is something that we as developers can and will not accept. If you are tired of creating resource classes for your assets, then let me introduce you to the package Flutter Resource Generator. Instead of creating those classes manually, you can use this package as a dev dependency. Then you have to add the resource config annotation to your app class and then you can make use of the build render command. Doing this will create abstract classes for the different kind of assets that you're using. If you are a musician or at least interested in creating a music related project, then this package might be for you. With Flutter Sequencer you are going to be able to build sequences of notes and play them back using sampler instruments. On top of that this package also supports looping. Let's go over it and have a quick look what this is all about. So here we have an example, a drum machine example and you get different kind of interface widgets like a play, stop and repeat button. You can set the steps. I don't know what steps means in this context. So if you're a musician or if you're advanced in this topic, maybe you know what this means. Then you can set the tempo. I think this is like the beats per minute and you can load different kind of instruments with those SF2 files. Down below we can see how instruments are created. They use the SF2 instrument class and then you load those SF2 files from the assets and we can see how we can create sequences. Then we have some further instructions about how to create tracks, schedule events on the tracks, control playback and lots of other features. So if you're interested in this package, then check out the documentation. Have you ever heard of flows or the flow widgets? If yes, the package Flow Builder promises a flexible declarative API to simplify the work with flows. The flow widget is basically very similar to the stack widget, but in terms of performance, it is much more efficient. That's why it is used to create advanced flutter layouts and complex animations. If you want to get more into detail, then check out this Medium article, which will be linked in the video description. If you are familiar with the parse server or parse backend, then check out the package parse server SDK flutter. If you find this interesting, then check out the video description where I will link this parse server guide. Another way of creating text animations is provided by the package Morphing Text, which is inspired by LT Morphing Label. At the time of this recording, there are two types of animations in this package, the Scale Morphing Text and the Evaporate Morphing Text, which you can see here. Additionally, all the parameters are listed here as well, which you can use to customize your animations. Working with lots of async calls, which might take longer as expected, to track those delays and display some feedback in the meantime, for example a loading indicator, you can make use of the package Delayed Consumer HUD. In this image we can see how this might look like. So here we have a slow operation and while this is loading, we can see this loading indicator, but with the operations that are fast, this loading indicator is not displayed. If the packages Firebase messaging and Flutter local notifications had a baby, it would probably be the package FCM config, which promises to merge between those two services. Are you bored of traditional page transitions? Then get ready for the package Animated Root, which allows developers to animate between screens. Here a short example how this could look like. We have this animated root widget and this one has a property widget that takes the next screen, a property curves which takes a curves object and alignment which takes an alignment object. Now let's click on the button to see how this looks like. 
another day, another payment service. With Tinkoff acquiring, you get a simple way to integrate payments into your mobile application. Sharing is caring. And if you feel the same way, then definitely check out the most liked package of week 42 with 34 likes, Flutter Social Content Share. With this package, you're going to be able to share your contents not only on social networks like Facebook and Instagram, but also by using email, SMS and WhatsApp. To make this work on Android, you have to modify the Android manifest XML by adding an attribute to the manifest tag and of course you have to add some permissions. Down below is the setup for the iOS configuration and if everything is set up then you can make use of different classes as you can see here or not different classes but different static methods of the Flutter social content share class and depending on the share type or the method that you're using you have to provide different information for example, to share something on email, you have to specify the recipients, the subject, the body and if you're using HTML and if you're sharing by WhatsApp instead, then you only have to specify the number of the target and the text that you want to send. Speaking of sharing, if you know other developers who might also be interested in this video, then please share it. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a like. And if you have seen my other package release videos, you probably noticed that I try to make it a bit more entertaining. And I'm very interested to know if you like the style or not. Feel free to leave me your feedback as a comment. And yeah, what else can I say? Have a nice day and see you next time.